Greetings and welcome to Tales from Candlekeep Tomb of Annihilation. I'm Catherine O'Sky, and first of all, I want to say a big thank you to Becom Studios, who granted me a key to play this game. I have been looking forward to playing this ever since they offered me a key and said, hey, do you like Dungeons and Dragons? Yes, look right down there. This is an official game in the Dungeons and Dragons, um, uh, what do you call it, brand? Um, so I'm really, really curious to see how this kind of compares to playing with friends and things like this. This is a single player uh, dungeon crawler that is turn based. So we're going to make some comparisons and figure out if this is fun and I'm really started, excited to get started. So what I've done to prepare for the game is I've just gone through the tutorial. I want you guys to see pretty much blind reactions to everything else. Um, like I said, all I've done is a tutorial, not done anything else. I want to take you guys on the adventure with me. So let's go ahead and start a new game. And as you see, we have nothing going on. Here we go. Slot one. We are lucky that you are here. I sense within you the spirit of a great adventurer who might be able to help us in our most desperate hour of need. A terrible death curse, a wasting disease afflicting everyone who has been raised from the dead is looming over the lands of Toril. The source of this curse has been traced back to the peninsula of Chult. Will you help us put a stop to this malignant evil? If so, I will be your guide throughout your adventures to find a way to clear the evil from our jungles. Be on your guard, for I fear this journey will be your most perilous one. Port Nyanzaru awaits. Eku. Let's start the adventure. Okay, we're going to skip the tutorial, because I've already done it. Um, we could do it again and get stuff from it. <laughs> so first of all, this is the map screen. And all of these Znock marks are missions that we can go on. I think these are missions too. Yes, they are. Okay, so you can choose various... This is the tutorial quest up here. But these are the various... Uh, missions you can go on. You can choose normal, hard, or horrific, and you get varying res um, resources, rewards, based on the difficulty, of course. Now on the left here we have our heroes, and each of them has different things that they can do. If we, look, if we click on the little um, anvil here, we go to our area where we can craft stuff for them. Different weapons, armors, accessories, and then you can also see the character's inventory and general information about them. So our first character is Artis Simber, who is a human ranger. Artis Simber, a former member of the Harpers, is the keeper of the Ring of Winter. He found the ring in the jungles of Chult, where he also met his wife, Alessandra. The ring halts its wearer's natural aging and has allowed Artis to survive well beyond his natural lifespan. Um, so here are his stats. We've got AC, HP, speed, and surge value. Now I have to admit, I have no idea what AC is and surge value is. Speed is basically how many movement squares you can go in a turn, and HP, of course, is how many hit points uh, your character has. Special ability, the Ring of Winter. Choose two extra daily powers from the Ring of Winter powers. That sounds pretty good. Um, so then the next person we have is Ashara, uh, Arakokra wizard. In Kir Sabal, Ashara is the leader of the Arakokra community. Others refer to her as teacher and revere her as a living saint. Ashara is intelligent, ambitious, and somewhat manipulative, but never cruel or insensitive. Besides her leadership duties, Ashara is a powerful mage cap capable of handling even the most complex of spells. Right, her special ability is flight. When moving, Ashara can pass through enemies and does not trigger traps unless she ends her move on a trapped square. So we need to keep that in mind if and when we choose Ashara to go hunt stuff for us. Um, next is Birdsong, Tabaxi Bard. Birdsong, a cunning young Tabaxi Bard, learned to defend herself while enslaved by the Yuan Ti. Proficient at playing the lute, Birdsong discovered her potential as a bard when witnessing the effect her songs had on other slaves. After her escape, she began, became one of the greatest minstrels of Chult. She promised herself to one day get revenge on the Yuan Ti who destroyed her village. All right, she's got cat's agility. When stepping onto a trapped square, Birdsong does not trigger the trap on a roll of five or higher. That's pretty handy. 
And our last hero is Dragonbait, Soriel Paladin. Dragonbait is a champion of good and a Soriel, a race that originated on a distant world and whose members have long lives. Calm by nature, Dragonbait does not give the image of a dangerous foe, but once in combat, his training and precision make him a devastating adversary. I love his name. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> You get the impression his comrades sent him in first. Hey, dragon, want a snack? Anyway, special ability, divine health. At the start of Dragonbait's hero phase, you may end one condition on Dragonbait before he activates, which is really important. Um, we looked at that, um, and we saw that in the tutorial, and hopefully we'll get to use it on our next mission. Right, we have no gold. We have nothing. Um, each person has a, two potions of healing in their inventory. Accessories, armor, each person, like I said, has different things. Um, and all of these things are controlled by crafting with various items. As you can see, for example, the apprentice tunic for Ashara is 10 bits of wood, 60 bits of maybe leather, and 10 bits of gems to make this happen. Um, but in our inventory, we have nothing. <laughs> so it looks like we have common, uncommon, rare, very rare, and legendary things and hopefully we'll find some of these materials as we go along and defeat some monsters. Speaking of, we might as well do that. Let's see what the first quest that we can do is. There's these guys. Chilton Graveyard. Ooh. Zombies. Defeat veggie pygmies. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, let's do one of the <laughs> veggie pygmies. Uh, let's do, do a main quest first. Pardon me. All right, fa favor for Jessamine. You have come to Port Nianzaru seeking to end the strange death curse that has befallen the land of Toril. Magical healing has grown weaker and in some cases begun to fail entirely, even reversing earlier healing. However, first you need a starting point, and after kicking around the town for a while, you were pleased to have an opportunity fall into your lap. The merchant prince Jessamine is looking for some poisonous mushrooms found in the jungle, and if you can find some for her, uh, she may well provide to be a valid, vital source of information for you. I'm confused because she's called a her. Jessamine is a typically a feminine name, but shouldn't it be merchant princess? Unless it's just a hereditary title, you never can tell. Anyway, I think we're going to go on normal mode for now. So we'll start the quest. I don't want to do any harder than that. At the beginning of the game, we have one slot. Looks like hero slot two is unlocked at level three. But all of our people, I think, are level one or zero right now. I'm not quite sure. Uh, we're going to look for poisonous mushrooms. I feel very confident playing Dragon Bait, who is a paladin. Uh, the tutorial lets you play Artist Simber and Dragon Bait, and I liked him for his kind of his tankiness, and, and he's uh, yeah, he's pretty good. So we're gonna select him, but what we're gonna do first is check out his powers. Now you can select different powers for each of these slots. We've got this one, which is Holy Avenger. Okay, this is not swappable. Uh, this is a powerful magical weapon that causes great damage to unnatural foes. You can attack one adjacent monster and deals plus one damage against undead demons or devils. Now the second one, Swift Strikes, can be switched out with Lunging Strike. Alright, this is attack one monster, then attack one adjacent monster. Okay, that sounds good. Lunging Strike. He lunges forward as he strikes, hoping to impale his enemy. Move up to two squares in a straight line through the empty, untrapped spaces to attack one monster. Okay, that sounds pretty good. I'd like swift strikes, though, because in case we get surrounded, this might be better for us. All right, utility things. What have we got here? This one is Last Stand. Um, digging deep, dragon bait refuses to fail. Used instead of a healing surge, regain one HP. Um, I think that's a passive, and I'm going to choose that one. The second one is Shen State. Dragonbait enters a unique meditative state, allowing him to sense those who mean him harm, and prevents the next monster from uh, spawning. Does not work on villains. Or we can choose Heroism. Um, apply Heroism to an adjacent hero. Adds 20% to the target's max HP. Spend this status to cancel a condition. Now, the thing about that is I think that refers to a different hero than himself. I'm pretty sure I can't use that on myself. 
So we'll just p stay with um, the Shen State. Right. Uh, and the Daily. Right. We have a few different options with these. Now, keep in mind the at will um, items are things that you can use every single turn. Utility and Daily are ones that you can only use once per mission. All right, the daily, we've got, let's see, attack one adjacent monster, and if the attack misses, power is not spent. That makes sense, that's a good one. Compel duel, uh, challenge monster, monster must move adjacent to dragon bait. It will then attack the monster. That sounds good. Um, blessed strike, all heroes on dragon bait's tile gain an advantage before this attack, since we only have one hero slot, that's not a good choice. Uh, Crusader's mantle. Uh, let's see, each hero on Dragon Bait's tile deals plus one damage when they hit with an attack until his next turn. I think, I think I'd, I'm liking this Grievous Strike. Let's select that one instead. All right, let's go. Ooh, the green man. Okay. Eku. All right, this should prove to be an easy task. Find the mushrooms, collect samples, and bring them back to Jessamine. Okay, so this is our world here, and it's kind of set out like a puzzle. I, I really like it because you can go to the edge of the map and then we'll we'll get another puzzle piece and figure out this landscape where it goes. Uh, you can rotate the landscape, it's fully 3D here, or two and a half D, or whatever, whatever they call um, these kind of isometric things. Uh, but uh, the, the turn is divided into several different phases. The first one is the hero phase where you can move or take an action, or you can do both. You can take an action first and then move, or you can move and then take an action, your choice. The next phase is the exploration phase, where if you're at the edge of a tile, the next tile will pop in. And um, then I forgot what that phase is, and then there's the villain phase, where the, the enemies take their turn. So there's also an interesting <laughs> thing. I think this game has a very cruel dungeon master because if you fail to explore a tile and or or come upon a specific kind of tile, you, you have a um, calamity befall you. So we'll see that in just a minute, but it is very interesting. All right, so we need to do our move, take an action, and then we can press spacebar to get to the next phase. Now here are our abilities that we can click on or use the number keys to use on any monsters and stuff like that. The adrenaline rush is for later when we have these bad set of effects happen and um, we can use adrenaline to kind of skip them. All right, I'm gonna go this way, I think. Okay, so I can't do much else because I want to explore this, so I'm going to press space. And here we go. Clunk. Whoa. How long? <laughs> okay. Right, so these guys are traps. Um, and what we want to do, ideally, is walk forward and then dismantle a trap. Ooh, we did, we did, we disarmed it. All right, since we used our movement, we can't go again. So we're gonna just plus space, exploration phase. No exploration, biting insects. Attack each hero within one tile of the active hero. Oh man, and so no skill available to interrupt. Ugh. No, oh my God. Ow, ow, right. I'm gonna go here. I want to open this box. What's in here? Pouch of copper. That sounds impressive. I can't, I can't move any further. Okay, I want to try to go to this tile, disarm this trap, and then go to the next piece here. Uh, assassin vine. All right, attack and stun the hero. All right, what's gonna happen? No. So the game does go on rolls of the dice. Oh. oh. Um, we'll just talk about this first. At the start of Dragon Bait's hero phase, you may end one condition before he activates. That's that skill that we had, remember? Um, so we're going to end the stunned condition. I'm almost thinking of, you know what? I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go here and explore this tile instead of going that way. Okay, so I don't get another one of those encounter bonuses. Holy fuzzy cats, what's going on here? Um, I'll get the chest. I mean, 
Okay, I can't do anything with this chest until I get closer. Encounter. No exploration. You're being watched. Uh, closest monster gains an advantage. Okay, so there's nothing watching me. There's nothing near me, at least. Uh, unless it's hiding. I don't know if it, it um, goes on or sorts out hide, hidden monsters. Let's open this chest see what we got. Boots of elven kind. All right. That sounds very cool. Um... Let's see what they do. Boots of Elven Kind. While wearing these boots, your steps make no sound. While in your inventory, when your hero discovers a challenging tile, you have a 50% chance not to trigger an encounter. That sounds really good. Yes, those are the other tiles I forgot the name of. The challenging tiles will trigger an encounter when you find them, unless you have boots, apparently. Uh, which reduce by 50%, of course. Right, Poison Dart. Oi. Please, no! Oh my god! Did you see that? Oh! Alright. Holy fuzzy cats. That was bad. Alright, go here, please. <laughs> He's already at 6 HP. Um. Can I? I don't think I can do this. Instead of a healing surge. Alright. Exploration phase. Okay, our first nice guy here. Um, our first enemy. Right, Zebu Mushroom Spores. Each hero on the active tile gains a disadvantage. Okay. So I don't... We're actually active on this tile. So we'll see. Oh, no. We have a disadvantage. Um, I was starting to say before that the, the game does seem to proceed on dice rolls. But you don't actually see the dice rolls. So... Ooh, what happened to me? Okay, we got attack deals at one damage on dragon bait effects of disadvantage wore off. Is that should have nine? Okay, we're good. We're good. Right, so we're gonna use one of our at will things. We have um, this one, Holy Avenger, deals extra damage to undead demons or devils. With all those uh, bones, I'm thinking we're looking at undead. Like a skeleton. So let's choose this one and attack. Boom! Yeah! Excellent. We got two um, XP from that as well. I'm gonna go this way. There are so many traps. I don't wanna fail uh, getting the trap disarmament roll. Okay, let's go here. Plus, we can also. Oh, look! Here are the mushrooms that Jessamine wants. Now you just have to gather them up and you're on your way. Although you should be wary, for these mushrooms can be deadly. Right. Okay, so I'm at 5 HP, which is not a lot. <sighs> I'm kind of worried about it, to be honest. There's an action point. Right. Poison mushroom sample. Good. Let's press space. Exploration phase. Okay. Deadfall attack all active hero. <gasps> That's scary. <laughs> Didn't hit, though. Didn't hit. Whoa! Oh dear. So what happened? Mushroom deals one damage. Oh man, poison attack. All right, we're gonna use. Um, I think we'll use our potion of healing for now. There we go. If the game is telling me to, I probably should use it. Can I click? Here? Oh, that was a movement. Oh, I took my action. Crap! I took the action by taking the potion. Okay, dark influence. Each hero takes damage. No! Oh, man. Hey. Like I said, the dungeon master for this game, it's really, really punishing. Exploration phase. Let's go. Kaboom. We have another undead guy. Ooh, he's trying to spear me there. Right. Let's use our Holy Avenger. He's got, wait, he's got 2 HP. This should do it. Um, deals plus one damage against the undead. You can see the damage right there. Uh, it's the red sword icon. So we should be able to do two damage to this guy. Black. Or not. Is he not undead? Oh, J Veggie Pygmy Warrior. <laughs> okay. Um, right. Go ahead. Is he gonna attack me? Oh, no exploration, shattered tree, nothing happens, okay. I 
feel an, an attack come. Oh, he missed. Excellent. Right. Now we're going to attack him again. I should have used this one, Swift Strikes. Ooh, it's quiet. What is that? Choose the monster or encounter category. The next of the chosen category will be automatically cancelled unless it's a villain. I've never seen this before. Um, do we want a mon- let's have a monster because they could drop loot. And um, the game says in the tutorial pretty much that almost all encounters are going to be bad. Um, very rarely will they be good. Okay, let's go explore. Oh, there are mushrooms. Yes. Look at that. All right, let's go. All we got to do is get these mushrooms and get out of here. <laughs> no. Oh my God, they damaged me. All right. Oh. Shivering sickness. Okay. We have a disadvantage. Boy, that hurts. Okay, let's get the stunned off of us. Try the mushroom again. It's telling us, hey, heal up. <laughs> I have four HP to get this one mushroom. I think we're gonna be fine. Oh my god, a meteor shadow. Oh good lord. That hurt. That hurt. Okay, let's get rid of the disadvantage. I hope we can survive getting this. And I hope this thing ends after we get this. We had four. We have three of four. Pick it. Yes. Okay. Whew. Okay. I'm glad we didn't die. <laughs> I said it was going to be easy. Let's bring those samples back. Right. So now we should get a screen with some chests on it. Our treasures. Right. They're very cool looking. Oh, we got four of these and one of those. Right. Okay. What did we get? Quartz, iron, copper, cured leather, driftwood. Oh, we got some uncommon stuff too. Zalantar. Got quite a lot of things. We got the most of cured leather. We'll look back in, um, in our thing again. Right, so we got difficulty normal, took us 10 minutes, defeated two monsters and six explored tiles. We got plus 100 money, so we have 300. Um, this is pretty good. I'm excited about this. Are you, are you happy, Dragon Bait? Are you doing good? He looks pretty happy, I gotta say. All right, go back to the map. Or he looks contented, I should say. Right. Okay, hedge trimming. Jessamine is searching for information to help you in your quest to end the death curse, but in the meantime, ask that you rid the nearby area of a tribe of pesky veggie pygmies that have started to attack travelers. Right. Oh, so this, I wonder if this is my complete XP. Oh, like my, 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 not my character, my account or KOS XP. <laughs> <laughs> Upcoming reward. We could get a chest at level two. At level three, we'll get a new hero slot. Oh, that would be great. And then there's a chest. Ooh, I didn't know. I, I was wondering about those uh, level rewards. I thought maybe you had to get one character up to a certain amount of XP. All right. Let's see what we can look at. Okay, so his iron longsword is going to take 60 iron. Can I build anything for people? Okay. Probably not. We have, remember, the most we have is of cured leather at 31, but I'm thinking we're going to need more items for that. Do these also cost money? Doesn't seem like it. I wonder what the money is for. I haven't gotten to the money part yet. Okay. You are taking this journey along with me. We will find the money part together, evidently. <laughs> Should we go after those pygmies? I kinda, I'm curious to see what these side quests are. I think they're side quests. Um, right, this is the... River Sochen Star. Interesting name. All right, let's get the veg <laughs> veg pigs. I don't know why that makes me laugh, but it's hilarious. Unfortunately, you've disrupted their training. Getting out of this one will be challenging. All right, let's start the quest. Um, now we could try here. Inflict deep stabbing wounds. Bird song. These are poison. Nice. Okay, what about our uh, mage? Okay, Ashara flings a ball of colorful energy at her enemy. Attack one monster within two tiles. Ashara creates an energy bolt that locks into its target once it hits. It 
One monster within one tile. How much HP? She only has six HP. So far what we've been seeing is when you encounter the monster, they like rush you. So I'm kind of thinking of, of staying with our paladin, to be honest. Uh, with 10 HP. I don't know if we would survive next time, to be, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Okay, let's let's keep our current loadout. That worked really well for us. So we'll go to the next thing. We'll try the side quest. Whoa, there we go. Okay, we start off in a very similar looking area. We still have our boots with us, which is kind of cool. Defeat five Veggie Pygmy warriors. That's not that many. That's pretty cool. Let's go here. That's kind of actually like the tutorial. Defeat five enemies, I think it was. Oh, hello. Challenging tile. Zabu, mushroom spores. Okay. We get a disadvantage for that, alas. Okay, what are you going to do, Veggie Pygmy? Oh my god, that was quick. These are interesting looking guys. Okay, let's get rid of this one. They are very curious, aren't they? <laughs> looks so weird. Okay, let's attack this thing first. Um, he has 2 HP. I'm going to use the swift strikes. See if this works. Attack one adjacent monster, then attack another adjacent monster. Let's hope this one counts as two monsters. Whack. And whack. He does. <laughs> Excellent. We got another. It's quiet. Okay, um, let's go for a monster because we know we don't want to kill them. That's our mission. Let's go explore this area. Uh, that's interesting. Challenging tile biting insects, really? <laughs> no. Oh, my XP is at the top. I didn't notice that. That's cool. Eh, I'll go this way. Kaboom. What is that? What the heck is that? Straw man. A straw decoy that has been placed here by some of the local natives. Oh, cool. They count as a hero for the purpose of monster behavior. So maybe they would aggro this guy um, if if we had that option, if there were monsters here. That's kind of cool. What's this? Looks like there are two mines here. Oh, there's a chest. Right, it's worth getting the chest, I think. So let's go this way. Oh, that's a cool like little grotto here area. I like it. That is awesome. Okay, let's see. Let's try to disarm this. Oh, excellent. We got it. I'm always worried. Like, are they going to be able to disarm or not? Okay. Counter poison dart. Ugh. I like how it just like springs up out of nowhere. <laughs> just totally impales my hero. Oh my god. All right. Um, right. So we're going to end this stun. Should be really good. Okay, and we're going to go open this chest. What do we get? Chest of gold! Excellent! Nice. Okay, cool. I'm going to have to skip the turn, or end the turn, I should say. Let's go this way. I don't know, maybe this way. Alright, there we go. Stunned again! Shoot! Alright, thank you. Okay, let's move on this way. Look at that. It's a dangerous looking chest. <laughs> it's a chest with the skull bits on it. Disarm. Yes. Yes, my pretty. A stalker. God. Alright. <gasps> no! Oh, here's an enemy. Alright. I don't know. Does this guy... Is he a veggie pygmy? <laughs> yes, he is. Okay, cool. Let's attack him. He's got two hit points, so let's make sure that we use our um, second skill there. Swift strikes. Ooh, level up. Fantastic. I've reached level two. I got a chest worth 20 iron. <laughs> now that's funky that it like literally gives it to you in the middle of the level. Oh, I can't choose that yet. Um, <laughs> I don't mind. It's like, yes, let us pause all this combat um, so that we can have a chest. All right. Oh my god, that meteor shower is so bad. Ugh. Open the chest. We want bag of silver. Oh. Which way should we go? 
This is trapped. This is not trapped here. We got two ways this way. I kind of feel like I'd like to go. Or I could just disarm this trap. No! Oh my god. How dumb is that? I triggered the trap. <laughs> Shoot. Oh boy. Okay. Miss. Yes, 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 yes. Alright. We use our number two power. Attack you. Boom. No, I missed one of them. Oh no. Alright. Gotta just... I should have moved nearby one of those things. That's what I should have done. Shivering sickness. Oh no. No. We gotta get rid of this stun. Oh. Ow. Two stuns. Holy fuzzy cats. No. Uh, let's d try this again. Disadvantage, but that's okay. I Oh, I got a crystal ball. Okay, cancels the next three encounters. The item is then destroyed. <gasps> that's so good. Let's pause here. Or skip here. Encounter. What? Doesn't it say it cancels the next three encounters? Maybe it just misses? Hey, are you working? Let's get this thing done. Move here. I hope it's not a challenge tile. Please don't let it be a challenge tile. Oh, ow. Okay, let me get our swift strikes. Maybe I have to actually click it to use it. Ooh, belt of giant strength. Okay. Oh my god, this is good. While in your inventory, your hero gains one damage to attack hits. On a failed attack, the item is destroyed? Wow, okay. That's a way to do it. Can we use this crystal ball? I'm really worried about my health at the moment. Okay, we got the crystal ball going. Not that we need it, but we're gonna pause, or not pause, I should get a space bar. We're gonna space over here. Okay, hero phase. Let's disarm this trap. Oh god, it got triggered. Okay. Counter interrupted. Excellent. Here, who's this? pouch of copper. kind of want to use this potion of healing. Okay. Um, I think we have to just wait. All right. Encounter interrupted. Excellent. Let's try to disarm that. Go here and get another exploration phase. Wow. There's like nothing here. This whole area, there's nothing here. Wow. Dead end. Total dead end. I wish I could kind of hop over here, but I don't think I can. Um, so if you have your entire turn left, you can use an action point to go into the yellow area. So the white kind of highlighted area is where you can move based on... Can I move here? No, I don't think so. No, those are just the seams between the tiles. Anyway, um, yeah, your your speed is where you can move, basically. And if you want to use your action point, like if I'm not planning to do anything, you can go into what's called the dash area. And that's the yellow part. So I think we'll dash over here. Hopefully not trip any traps on the way. Good gracious. Okay, so we'll just finish. Oh, dear. <gasps> oh, <God>. Okay. <laughs> so we had no uh, monsters around us, so that's why we sort of survived there. Um, when th the game has a very interesting way of saying you are involved with monsters. It says you control them. Okay, is there anything here? There is... That looks interesting, but I don't think it's some... Um... Oh, we can walk there. Let's see. Nope, can't click on it. Shoot. Let's walk here instead. Okay. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, we have a. Oh, alright. You look very angry, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Let's um let's try to kill him with our number two skill. Whack. And boom. Chest of gold. Excellent. Let's, is there anything here? Nope, I don't see anything. Let's move here.
going to end the turn. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, dear. Oh, my. <laughs> uh huh. Right. Oh, okay. Right. Um, what have we got here? We've got Grievous Strike. This one does five damage. Now, we do have this belt, so I'm wondering if we hit the double strike on this one, I'm hoping it will also hit this one. If I move here to this square and hit this one, I might be able to take out those two at once. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. I, I Well, th that one has a four damage to him. It doesn't really matter, I suppose, which one I take out. Okay, let me choose the swift strike then. I was looking at this and thinking that that's the hit points because we have our Grievous Strike, which will go for five damage. But I think, all right, let's just go for the Swift Strikes. Get this guy with the one hit point. He should be killed or not. Hello? Oh, maybe it's gonna give me the option to, okay. It allowed me to choose that. All right, so the belt has been broken. Which is not ideal. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, can't do anything else. Let's just stop. Okay. Really? Oh, we can interrupt. Excellent. So um, the way to interrupt some of these bad effects is to use adrenaline. And the way you get adrenaline is by killing monsters. So we're going to interrupt one of them. And it uses one full bar to, uh, to interrupt. And before we just hadn't had that full bar yet. All right, we're gonna try this again. We're going to hit you. Whack, please, and whack you. Excellent. Ooh, Davik's cloak. It is said that the wearer could turn invisible at will, but no one has figured out how. All right, your hero dodges the next attack. I think we're okay. We're gonna get one more defeat, so we should be able to finish this. Um, thing right now. What is this again? These are plus undead. So we figured out they're, we don't think they're undead. Oh, we have to next turn, right? Gotcha. Yeah, we don't want to take damage. We'll interrupt that since we have the ability to. Okay. And kill. Boom. Bash. Dead. Thing. Go. Stop. Whew. Oh my god. Defeat the Veggie Pygmy Chief? Alright. Let's go this way. Alright, so somehow I. Uh, oh, that looks like a chief if I ever saw one. Yo, hey, dude. <laughs> he's, got the, he's got the fancy hat. He's got the hat with a crown on him. Right, so we healed one. He uses recovery on himself. Interesting. I did not tell him to use any recovery, but I guess that's a... See, this one says... Passive. Utility passive. This is an active. Okay. All right. Well, we'll just get our swift strikes. See so if we can take this guy. You know what? Let's use our daily. Let's use the uh, damage four thing. Boom. Boom. Oh, nice. A bag of silver from that guy. Fantastic. Completed. I used that one because I wanted to try it out and also I figured there are no more um, stunts. There isn't much have to do after that. Ooh, we got one of these. Look at that. Nice. Open the chests. Do, 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 do. We got stuff. Very rare some stuff. Excellent. I'm excited. Leveled up. We're now level three. So that means we're probably going to be able to take our, uh, yeah, another hero into combat with us. Fantastic. That's fun. Okay, so we explored 13 tiles and defeated nine monsters. Okay, took us a long time. <laughs> That's okay. Let's go back to the map, see if we can craft anything. All right, we can level up to see our next rewards. Oh, level four is going to be a chest. Level five is uncommon chest plus another hero slot. Oh, <gasps> look at this. It shows a little icon. I love that. I love that you can like see, yes, you can, you know, 
You can make stuff. All right, daily powers plus one. That doesn't seem useful to me. Armor class and hit points. Yeah, that seems really useful to me. Now we can scrap any of these that are um, not needed. But I think we're, we, we, we don't need to scrap them. We, have, we need to have stuff in our inventory. We have a potion of healing. I wonder if there's like a shop. I hope there's a shop. Let's get him the sh shield for now. Spend more gold piece pieces to increase the chance of success. Can we buy? Wow. We could. I want to see if there's a shop somewhere. Is there a shop? Hello? Um, I'm clicking on the gold and I don't see any way to do that. Can we buy? Oh, whoops. That was back there. I didn't want to go back there. Um... Got stuff, man. A lot of good stuff. But I want to find a way to buy potions of healing. If I can. Alright, let's go and get our secondary weapon. The shield. <sighs> wow. Craft. Let's give it... 90% chance. I don't know if I... Well, we could do it that way. Let's let's give it 90% chance and, and save 500 gold. I hope this works. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, what? Oh my god. What? It failed? Oh my god. That is so bad. I'm guessing there's not a shop. I'm guessing you just fail. <laughs> so bad. I spent so much money on that thing and it hurt. Oh. I wonder if, is that the chance of protection that we were doing or the chance of crafting? I have to, I'll have to go back in the video and look at it again. <laughs> it's ridiculously bad. If that was a 90% chance to craft, um, I'm really disappointed. <laughs> no. All right. In any case, we will do some more quests in the next episode with hopefully two characters next time. And we'll, I'm going to try out some of the other characters. I want to try out the bard and try out um, the mage. Also the ranger too. But anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. <laughs> Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.